What's up, my beautiful subscribers? Your girl, Chef Rambo, is back with a new banging recipe. Today, y'all, we making homemade Philly cheesesteak sliders. Yes, I use Hawaiian rolls. Yes, I put peppers and onions in my Philly cheesesteak, and I top that thing off with some butter and parsley. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all know them look so fire. Let's get into it. So you're going to need two things of beef shaved steak. You could also use thin sliced ribeye. We got one green pepper. We then going to use one onion. You could use um, a red onion. You can use a yellow onion, white onion, baby. Use whatever you want to use, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and chop them things up and dice size little pieces like that. We got some canola oil in the bottom of my pan. Now we're going to go ahead and throw in our uh, green peppers. I went ahead and diced them up as well. So they look all beautiful and cubed and squared and whatnot. Yes. So you just want to let these cook until they're nice and translucent, nice and soft like this. We're about halfway there. You want to let these cook, y'all, for about five to six minutes before you add in your steak, okay? We're also going to add in some minced garlic. Um, I like to use the kind like this. You could also use like really minced garlic. You could use fresh garlic, but I like to use like the garlic paste. We're then going to add our two pounds of thinly sliced um, steak, beef shaved steak. Like I said, you could use ribeye if you wanted to use thinly sliced uh, porterhouse steak. If you want to use thinly sliced filet mignon, honey, whatever you want to do, you can do, okay? You can also use the cheaper, low-quality grade of steak as well. We got some seasoned salt up in that thing. We're going to add us some garlic powder. And y'all, I do not have measurements. I just like to throw it in there as I please, okay? We're next going to add my favorite ingredient, which is onion powder. Garlic powder and onion powder are like the two twin sisters, okay? They go in everything. You cannot make nothing without garlic powder and onion powder, okay? And then we're also going to add some black pepper. Um, I have a pretty big thing of it, so I didn't put a whole lot in there. And we're just going to throw in just a little pinch of salt. Not a lot because we did already use seasoning salt, okay, y'all? And I know my meat is looking all clumpy and weird. Don't worry about that. Get you a spatula or a nice fork or spoon and just chop it up real fine like this, okay? Yes, yes, that's looking marvelous. So once our steak looks like this, we're going to go ahead and start to add our butter and our parsley together because we're just basically going to go ahead and top that on top of our Hawaiian rolls. And yes, I had my boyfriend cut it because I wasn't about to mess this bread up, y'all. So the first step is you want to go ahead and add a little bit of your favorite Miracle Whip mayonnaise, whatever, baby. If you don't like Miracle Whip and mayonnaise, just completely skip on this step, okay? So once you have an even coating of mayonnaise on your Hawaiian rolls, we can move on to the next step, baby, which is going to be to add that steak and then peppers and onions. Okay. Now I did drain a lot of the oil off of this, but it's not like fully drained. It's like a little bit left. So don't worry about that. As long as you take off most of the oil, that's really all that matters. And then you want to go ahead and just put that right on top of the Hawaiian rolls. We got some, we got some provolone and mozzarella blend cheese. You could also use American cheese, pepper jack cheese. You could use the sliced provolone cheese. You could use um, sharp cheddar. You know, baby, you use whatever you want to use. But this is the kind of cheese that I wanted to use. Okay. Get you a nice heaping handful of cheese right on top of that Philly cheesesteak sliders or whatever, baby. These is looking good already and they didn't even go in the oven yet. Stop playing with Chef Rambo, okay? So you're going to go ahead and put them Hawaiian rolls, the top of them, right back on top. As you see, they're all uniform, perfectly in uh, order. Now we're going to top it off with some butter and some parsley. And if y'all want... You could use just a half a stick of butter. I ended up using a whole stick of butter, which I got yelled at later down the line because my boyfriend was like, why did you use all that butter? But girl, he couldn't taste the difference. It was still busting. It was still fire. So just use about a half a stick of butter, okay? 
melt it in the microwave, throw you a little bit of parsley in that thing, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Look at them Philly cheesesteak sliders. Stop playing with me. Ah! They ain't even go in the oven yet, y'all. They looking picture perfect, and they did not even go in the oven yet. So when you cook these, y'all, cook them on 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Do not overcook them. We do not want no hard, crunchy bread, okay? Mm-mm, mm, baby. Look at that butter, that parsley, that Philly cheesesteak, that cheese, them peppers and onions up in that thing. Stop playing with me. This was so fire, y'all. Like, everybody in my household tore these up. My boyfriend said this is the only way he wants me to ever make Philly cheesesteak sliders. Look at that cheese pull. Baby, you better make this this Sunday. Don't you wait until the weekend or don't you wait until Thursday night to make these. Make these today. This meal probably took me no more than 30 to 40 minutes to make, y'all. It's delicious. It's simple. It's easy. It's quick. It's going to fill you up and your family is going to thank me later. Okay. I appreciate y'all for supporting me, for watching my videos. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, you comment, you share, you repost, and you tell all of your friends and family about Chef Rambo and what I got going on, y'all. Peace out.